Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Hi, guys. Good morning. In case the bang boy any sound, it's actually ready while making this video. Welcome to SMC with Arewa. My name is Arewa. I welcome you to my channel. If you are new, kindly click on that subscribe button and don't forget to on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video so you can come and check it out. Also, this is a Yoruba and English channel. So, make the Muma sokpa poni ibi bye. Thank you guys for joining me once again. Thank you for your love. Thank you for coming back to this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you girls. And honestly, I'm really, really glad to have you guys. For any of your advert, support, donation, or for any discussion whatsoever, my contact is going to be down below in the description box. And I'm also going to leave it lying around in the comment section area. Thank you guys once again. Let's just jump into it. On today's episode with the SMC with Arewa on a serious note. Let us critically analyze the issue of Bonner Boy security, security guys or men, so to say, shooting at a nightclub in a Kubana or Big Kubana club in a, a somewhere in the area of Lagos State. Now, a lot of things has been said that happened, but the the said married woman that um caused the katakata came out to explain exactly what happened let me read what the woman or be what the lady said then we analyze it together bona boy welcome to egypt and there's something going on in ijebu that for some reason whenever i you know have the mind or the thought to talk about it for some I, like i don't know we are we are in i just keep forgetting and forgetting forgetting but however the case may be today is today let's get into it so the lady said after taking time out to heal and process the events that occurred between my partner and best friend and their husband and um bona boy at um kubana obi kubana club night club in victoria island lagos now we were visiting nigeria from america and london for our childhood friends wedding on the 8th of june 2022 bona boy and his friends opened fire at us in kubana lagos my partner and his friend were shot with both needing urgent medical care a bullet grazed my part my partner's head and our friend was shot in the thigh leaving him hospitalized and needing an emergency surgery in nigeria around 3 a.m i went to kubana club with some of my friends we were there for a couple of hours celebrating the newly wet we were about 20 at the club and we were having a nice time in the vip section we were laughing drinking and having a good time bonner boy and his friends came in we were still there having fun as the night progressed one of bonner boy's friends walked to talk to me his request was for bonner boy to talk to me on that fourth attempt i told him i wasn't interested in talking to bonner boy and I am married to my partner. He came again the second time and was met with the same response. He came the third time and that caused a few of our friends to flare up as they asked why he kept coming to disturb me. There were words back in fought and one of Bonner Boy's friends attacked one of our friends. And as they attacked him, the situation De degenerated into a fight as the first fight started the security at kubana stepped in and were able to calm the situation as that happened everybody was slowly going back to their section when when two of bonner boy's friends another started another fight started and the security at Kubana jumped in again. As they were fighting, Bonner Boy's friend started shooting after what looked like a signal from Bonner Boy. At this point, the club was in chaos. Everyone was screaming and trying to vacate the premises. 
at this time, at this point, I couldn't find my partner or my best friend. I was screaming for help after being lifted and thrown so hard on the floor by one of Bonner's friend and I hurt my left shoulder. All our private police officers were not allowed into the club, so it was left for us to fight for our lives. One of our friends was trying to get Bonner Boy to calm the situation, but he only laughed at him and proceeded to get into his car whilst being protected by his security. The shooting happened twice at different times. His friends were also shooting at people trying to vacate the club through the main entrance. They were out to kill and didn't care who got shot or who got eat. My partner's head was bleeding profusely and his friend lost so much blood he needed a donor as soon as he got to the hospital. Bonaboy left Cubana Club without a scratch and flew out to Spain the next morning. Now, Obi Cubana only reached out to us four days after the event, claiming he had no idea and would do anything to get us justice for this attempted murder. Eleven days later, there has been no CCTV footage real erased by the club or even a statement to address the incident publicly. Business has carried on as usual for, for him here at Obi Kubana. Now, even after leaving the club to safety outside, or at least I thought I was safe, the same man that initially approached me on behalf of Bonner Boy saw me and said, Oh, you are the one that was doing Shakara Abi. Then reached into his bottoms to get something resembling a gun. Luckily, at this point, my friend found me and pulled me away just in time. He retracted and got into a car and left. Now, to sum things up, I'm traumatized. I'm broken down every day. I have broken down every day then. The random flashback and nightmare, especially after seeing Bonner Boy respond. The lack of remorse or incantability is beyond me. At least two people could have died that night. Now, that is the write-up of the, the sad lady now after this write-up someone came out that that claimed to be an eyewitness and wrote something let me read that as well the person said what really happened at club cubana the guy's so-called wife went to snap with bonner boy in his v v i p top corner and instead of him to wait till she returns he went there voluntarily to drag her out. Then he was resisted for his confrontational approach by Bonner's security. Immediately after things started escalating, Bonner decided to leave with his people. But the same guy, cry, crying foul, made advances to attack Bonner. It was the... It was that policeman attached to Bonner Boy that shot to dispense them, accidentally eating two guys. Bonner throughout was just trying to avoid the situation. He was even laughing, you know, in bracket, like, what the hell is this, in bracket. But these guys wanted more from the whole issue and made his kind gesture, taking selfie with a perceived fan, escalate so quickly the funny thing the media knows this but decided to feed nigerians with the story of bonner sending someone to call another person's wife those that know bonner know he won't stoop so low when a lot of single guys at the club was trying to take pictures with him this is an eyewitness report i don't want to bring the influence they are in bracket the guys in bracket affiliation to another camp of major celebrity as on this resolve because he apparently did not send them to be you know with such 
privilege. Now, after, now, after the eyewitness, a supposed eyewitness came out to write that, the, the, the lady, the said lady that um, initially came out to explain what happened, you know, came out again, you know, this, the, this said eyewitness seems to be someone probably paid by the Bonner boy side, you know, in trying to manipulate what the lady said. Now, the lady came out again with receipt to means evidence showing a video that they probably took, you know, why they were there, not knowing that, um, you know, you, you go to club, you make videos and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So, innocently, those videos that they made, she posted it and showed us. I can't post the video here because of the music in YouTube will flag it down. Now, you know, in the video, you will see that where they are sitting is quite very far to where Bonner Boy was apparently sitting on the video no they they were just drinking their own they were ordering drinks and stuff like that even before bonaboy came into the club and where he sat was was probably going to be like uh, maybe 10 or 20 feet to where these people were and they were crowd in that establishment so the lady was trying to say that um what the supposed eyewitness was saying was a lie but for real for real that's yeah yeah eyewitness now let me let me come back to my own analysis that is exactly what happened i've just read that now me i would say that eyewitness is somebody from bonner boy because his stories were so inconsistent uh, please who shoots in a night club to chase people away in an enclosed fertility you know that that eyewitness was saying eh, the security bonner boy just shut up you know trying to dispense crowd in an enclosed fertilities who, like I like I don't understand. And why is Obi Kubana not releasing the CCTV footage of that establishment? Why have they not, not even you know trying to put out a statement? Why is Bonaboy not even putting out a statement? He just you know flew out to spend the next day because he knows what he has done. If not that Nigeria is a lawless, this would have been a court case with damages to be paid. I mean, these two people could have died. Like, uh, like that eyewitness, you know, if you have somebody, Bonner, honestly, Bonner, that person that you sent out to come and explain, is already worsening this matter for you, for real, for real. Because how can you say that um, somebody is shooting twice to dispense crowd in an enclosed place? Like, who does that? Shooting to dispense crowd. Not outside, not an open ground, though. In an enclosed place. Who shoots in an enclosed place twice to dispense crowd? In a club? Inside the room? Who, like, who does that? What kind of a talk is that? That alone, Gonsev, just spoiled the whole thing. Like, how can Bonner Boy sit down and allow his security to actually, like, why would oh, that club, that Kubana club, even allowed the security agent to come into the club to an enclosed fertility with a cock gun? Like, who does that? How? On that part of the club, if not that it happened in Nigeria, that club will pay damages for real, for real. And thank God the lady is a UK citizen. I'm sure she can go back to UK and fight this matter because she will not get any justice in Nigeria. She will not because this person is a celebrity that he happened to and a big Cubana club for that matter. But if you go to the UK, I'm sure she can get them to sue that club itself and Bonner boy they will pay damages this is a court matter to get justice but nigeria is what nigeria is but if the lady is a uk citizen or a u.s citizen i'm sure she can get justice over there like how do you shoot at a person accidentally to dispense crowd like how honestly obi kubana itself it will be nice if you can address this matter publicly because you cannot tell us a club that millions go down there every day would not have a very good CCTV footage. It's not possible. You can Obi Kubana cannot tell us that. Do you know millions of naira being spent in that club daily? Kawasokwe Benyakowa CCTV co possible. Because I remember an incident that happened in that same obi kubana club i don't know i don't think it's the one in lagos i think the one in jaws or portacot or somewhere in the east like i stand to be corrected but i know an incident happened why a, a, a lady died 
slipped and died. Now, many people were saying it's a lie. How can somebody just sleep and die? But then, a CCTV, the Obi Kubana Club released the CCTV. And true, 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 we saw it in the, in the, in, in the CCTV footage where the lady truly, truly was walking down and just, you know, and just slipped and fall down and died. In fact, nobody was even there safe. So, I'm very, so Obi Kubana cannot tell us that that club does not have a CCTV. Unless they have, re, you know, erased it. Because what happened is between a celebrity. You know, it, it, it is even clear that um, this same eyewitness was paid. Because Bonaboy did not even apologize or is, issue a statement. His management or even he himself did not. Well, like, if this is, if this was in the UK or in the US, the guy go don't sleep for say. Being a celeb, being a celebrity means you should be more responsible. People bigger than Bonner Boy would have been jailed in a functional society. Bonner Boy should do the needful. Come out and apologize. Make restitution where it is necessary. Two people could have died for crying out loud. For real. I don't know what you guys think. Let me hear your thoughts. Now, let's move on. For Ibile Solutions is yes to stay. They are your herbal remedies for infections, diseases, gonorrhea, syphilis, vaginal discharge, moving pile in the body, she noisy stomach, knee, STD, yeast infection, or fertility treatment. Is your fallopian tube blocked or you have fibroid or you have ovarian cross cancer? She arthritis and is it low sperm count? I've been one tiny love and I go ibile solutions. They are the confirm one. No, just order. They are the alba remedy for any of all these things. Any of all these things. Abi is a go jedi. A ko jedi gidi. A wonto ma jeki e kwa yiko ma jeko ma adide. A won bante en kwa buruku buruku. O do a go ibile solutions leti le rio. A bi wo ti li yiko mo shwen. For years ni. She won ye ni. Is it two years? Your menstrual period is not coming again. And you are you have not yet entered menopause. And you are trying to conceive. Fertility treatment. Confirmed, confirmed one. I bet it is fibroid. Is it infection? Emo, we women, infection normally deal with us. Some people are having difficulties conceiving and it is because of infection. And you've tried all possible bliss. Yes, you are not seeing any reason to eat. Come to Agui Billet Solutions. When it comes to they are the number one solution to fertility treatment. They are the number one who people are getting pregnant. Lock one, lock one, new. They are, they, are, they are confirmed. Confirmed. Or is it come and come and get your confirmed Kanyamata? Are you the type that when, you're, when your man is sleeping with you, you don't normally feel it? Come to Agui Billet Solutions. They will get you confirmed herb that will make you be feeling it. Or you have low libido. Or kun e me. I'm a bobby on it. So I'll open your kuni move. Kuni feel ye. Kote ni mabo shen dum bukonko. Kuni dum mode biko fe feel ye. E wak be a boy bile solutions so. E wak be a boy a boy bile solutions. Plus two three four seven zero six three five five nine five nine one. Again plus two three four seven zero six three five five nine five nine one. A boy bile solutions. Amolo leche, they deliver worldwide. Add this kind of ringtone. If you. You need to book for a consultation.
Now, there's something that has been going on. I want to say this in English specifically because of um, the people that don't understand Yoruba to get this information. Now, there's something that's been going on in Ijebu Ode precisely that um, probably it is known over there, but um, I, want, I mean, people that are not from Ijebu might not actually know. And I don't know why it is hush hush, but the rate at which kidnapping is happening in Ijebu Ode is somehow even though they claimed that um the, they know the boys that are doing it in in their society but it is alarming ijabo day is not safe it's not the way they kidnap themselves for ransom in ijabo day is alarming very very alarming i'm very sure if you are from ijabo day you probably say you are coming to nigeria you're you know, your people over there might be saying, don't come out, they're kidnapping you. One part of one, they're not lying, you know. That's the truth, though. One part of is the basic truth. The way to one shen kidnap, eh, kokin sheke kere. Kokin sheke kere. Bia won lok pa o, she ti ri won mu. I mean, like, I don't understand how the police have not gotten them. Well, because, because they know themselves. So they say in the Jebu that they work together with the police. Like the way they are kidnapping themselves. I don't know what the, uh, you know, Awujale is doing about it. But it is alarming. It is alarming. In a week, like you will not hear that, oh, they kidnapped that person. Oh, they kidnapped this. Oh, they kidnapped. They kidnapped um, an, an hotel here. Rolak Hotel. The owner of Rolak Hotel in Ijebode. Till tomorrow that I'm speaking is not being found. Till tomorrow. Lots of people are get and they are, and then and then uh, like I don't know why like I said earlier I don't know why the Ijebu Ode people are, are you know are keeping quiet about it that they are not making a publicity about it to the general public you know in order for this thing to stop maybe maybe they are scared because uh, you know the, because the boys doing this thing are people that they know in the area so Tomati kidnap one one sita. So, this is not the full and is coming to kidnap. Oh. This is not the houses or the east. This is not um, um the uh, Boko Haram or, 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 or stuff like that. It has nothing to do with the full and is now. I mean the Fulani hates cement and stuff like that. He has nothing to do with it. This is Omo Yoba won't be around one kidnap need your boy day for a war because of money. I want my KKK, I want boys at Dubo, you want she share ye. Area boys, I want boys at Dubo, you want she. Oti wa very alarming need your boy day, but one dake won't be more than anybody. It did not seem to be more than you are. Ti won se fe so sita aya won ja oni kalukumbo ton ba gbele leyin to ba so ransom to ba dele koni so koni so koni so fun ebo e won tu gbe nebo na yin na tu gbo ko won dake won bo mo ra nibe tori pe awon ton se se yen awon boys adugbo ni ton ba spariwo e sita won le kuku wa pa won mo le lon se n dake lon se le so sita so to ba ni eyan ni jebu to ba so pe awon bo n le o ton ma ni ko ma de si jebu ko de si bo mi o won o paro fun e o ti ara e ni won so fun e Ti a la e, o wun ni wun so fun wun. Ni wun so fun wun. Koda, a wun mo e, mi tu dek pe a wun wo bi wun, a ba wun yon wun wun ni yi be. Ti wun de wala bro, di nse di wun tin sa nek bi a wun yon wun kuru, kos ton ba gbe wun. Wun le sheke ni, wun le wun ti mo kwe, o lo, o le yon a bro, to man a sen do wo ransom. So, o ni ka luku a la wun, wun shon yon a la wun ni, bo a wun boy sa du bo ni, wun ni wun she yi shen yi. A wun boy, wun de nan wun o lo pa e be, one must see one don't share me. If this is what she did, but I'm not here. Come on, one a lot of time I come on there. That she rebuilding. So it is an awareness that I want us to, you know, to hear to know about the rate at which kidnapping in Jebode is getting out of hand within the Yoruba, you know, community, and it is the Yorubas. It has nothing to do with the outsiders. Nitori owo. Tomati gba ransom, won kidnap elomi ton gba 1 million, ton gba 500,000. Tori owo ton be fi jeun. Awon boys adugbo de ni won ni won se. O ti poju. 
o ti se kini o ti o sasa ni agbole te ba de ni jebo de ti won ti kidnap won bere e lo bere dada so let us create that awareness ijebo de is hot for kidnapping now is hot for kidnapping hello Asiko ni biki bitet tin gbo mi oruko mi ni omo bo yin damola alase ati oludare ti ma place ni bi ti atin ta awon kan bi gold 18 karat gold 22 karat gold at 24 karat gold o yi si bi si gold te ba ti fe mu lo wa ni ti ma place se yin fe customize oruko ni e kan si wa a ma se fun yin se yin bi gold kan te ro poti to biju te wa ro pe gram te yin fe ko to yen e se di gold yen sa wa a ma gbe gram te ba fe Magbuja de fui, ani a wong kowi shibi shibi seniga, ani a wong kowi shibi shibi a wong abaya, abaya wa, abaya no tunwa, jalamia wa, jalamia no tunwa, so opo wi shibi shi, ikota iro pa wong koni to opo repete te ma opo jalamia niye, te pata do ti mas please, ama so fin te jalamia, ama fui ni jalamia, ama fui ni abaya, Kon sha be atoye pe muslim ni kon le wo lo si church e le wo lo si party ni awon abaya ti do ti wa ni ti mass place an pe won ni luxury abaya an ni awon stone scarf awon number 1 kama stone scarf an ni won lori shirishi an ni seniga seniga ton pe seniga ron se ile ya ti nbo yin yawo le e pe ra yin je kon si ti mass place e je ka fun yin ni awon aso to je wi pe awon ko yin go atun yin gbe ni ale ojo le ya ni ti mass place e kon si wa ani awon kon wi shi bi shi shu an ba bi wa gbatala son wa ba gla son wa ni kon wi shi bi shi son glasses wa e check wa house at ti mass place lori instagram e pe wa lori whatsapp ke send ke send message si wa lori plus 1 347 279 2078 english wears no le fe e kon si wa a ma gbe jade fun yin se us wears ni se uk wears ni a se toki wears ni bi nkan to wa lorun mi a ma gbe jade fun yin ni ti mass place ibi te ya wi pe owo te fi ra nkan a wu yin lori e tu je gbadunju wo te fi ra nkan lo e check wa out lori instagram page wa at ti mass place e check wa out lori lori tiktok page wa ti ma o wa ke wa wa won ko wishi wishi ta ni you are free to call me anytime, any day. If you have any questions on gold or you want to ask something you don't know or you don't understand about gold, where you have more difference to allow and rating karat C22, C24, C14, C10, C8, call me anytime, any day. Mo wale madan ilo, eshe gong.